Well, it might, it might be a simple question of how do you shop for a movie collector, but the answer is not that simple. Take Christmas, for example. How do you figure out what to get somebody for Christmas? Especially if they have the movies that they love, do you size up the movies that they love and assume that they like other similar movies? Or would they like something that sort of contrasts with what they have already? This is tricky. Of course, you can ask the person in their family or somebody close to them what they would like to have, what they've talked about, what they've seen that they like that they don't have yet. Another way to go is to give them something that you like, something that you recommend, something that you hold near and dear to your heart. Having the opportunity to tell people about movies, to me one of the great things about doing that is telling people about something that they have not discovered yet, something that you think they would like, something that can be new and eye-opening to them. And that's not a bad track to keep when giving a gift. Um, I mean, of course, there's not a 100% chance that they're going to love what you suggest to them or what you give to them as a gift, but I think they would appreciate the effort uh, that went into it. Now, when it comes to Christmas, you're drawing a very fine line between what is okay and what isn't in terms of secular and religious films. For example, do you give the person that is not that religious and doesn't go to church regularly a religious film, or do you keep it secular? I mean, I say play it safe and keep it secular. Um, in other words, Miracle on 34th Street, A Christmas Story, you can't go wrong there. It's a wonderful life. You can't go wrong. When you give them Passion of the Christ, you might have some problems there. Um, then again, if they're religious, will they be offended by giving them a secular movie? I don't think so. I think they're okay with that. Because everybody loves the movies I mentioned. Um, so, I think you just play it safe in that situation. Then you have the thing, if you're giving movies to kids, what is okay and what isn't. Uh, even if kids are the same age, not all movies, and this is from past experiences, are good for one kid that's good for another kid. For example, my kids, you might think that my kids at their age, 10 and 13, would love to get Toy Story 3 or The Smurfs or a movie like that. No, they actually would be happier with Jerseylicious um, Season 1 or tiaras and toddlers or toddlers and tears or whatever that show that to me is an abomination um you know they'd, they'd rather see that than watch an animated film because right now animated movies are not really cool to them they're at that age where they think they're more sophisticated i'm the one going to see the toy story threes alone so shopping for a movie collector simple question not a simple answer um, do your homework.